The Adventures of the Scarlet Scrapper. He hunts and fights for a better tomorrow. Enemies of America, beware. The Scarlet Scrapper is here. Ride with the mysterious Scarlet Scrapper, whose identity is a secret to everyone, even our listeners at home, as he fights for truth, justice, and all that is good. The Scarlet Scrapper, a mysterious do-gooder with a suit the black of night and a mask the crimson of blood. This grand adventure of the Scarlet Scrapper is brought to you by Noble Sweet Puff Cereal. Check for it in your grocer's cereal aisle today. And now for our adventure. Lieutenant Garrison, I have to talk to you immediately. Marsha Maple, what a surprise. Somehow I doubt that, Lieutenant. I've been waiting for nearly an hour and just had to sneak on in while your officer went to the bathroom. It kind of feels like you're avoiding me. Now why would I ignore my favorite reporter? Lieutenant. Okay, I admit it. I have been avoiding you. It seems every time you step through that door, I am dragged on some kind of scarlet-clad adventure. Why can't you go harass some army lieutenant instead? Because none of them have your charm. Now, are you going to hear what I have to say or not? Fine, fine. Would you like some coffee? Don't you dare start to stand up. I am fine. And you are too. Now, the reason for my visit today is that I've heard news that someone is counterfeiting war bonds. They are supposed to be perfect, indecipherable copies of real bonds. And let me guess. You know exactly where they are being reproduced. And let me take a further guess, Miss Maple. You want to go there now. That is correct. We have to stop this. Think about all the work the Scarlet Scrapper has done since the United States went to war. He puts his neck on the line nightly in order for our country to thrive into a better tomorrow. He is keeping our country safe here while our soldiers keep us safe in Europe. Isn't it only right to do our part to help in that effort? Miss Maple... I am still not convinced that this Scarlet Scrapper is real. How can you deny it when we've seen so much evidence? Wherever the Scrapper goes, he leaves his calling card. He's showing us that he is out there, that he is watching, fighting for us. Okay, Ms. Maple. On to another adventure for us. Let me grab my coat. This must be the right place. I can smell the ink from the press even out here. I couldn't find General Bear, but his goons told me what his latest scheme was. He intends to undermine the war effort by creating false war bonds. This won't do at all. Now, all I need to do is find a way in, then I will disrupt this plan like I've done so many of the generals. A window. I can climb the fire escape and get inside. Say, would you look at this? They look perfect. Aces, they sure do. These counterfeit war bonds are going to make us rich. And the best part is this General Bear fellow only wants a small percentage back for the equipment. Why is he doing it, Polly? He gives us the equipment. He gives us this old abandoned sheet metal factory as a base of operations. He sets us up completely. So, I mean, he could be making a fortune on this himself. I don't know. I don't care. Let's collect up these samples and start printing the next batch. Someone's here. Take out your gat and face the door. Be ready now. There's nobody there. Just keep ready. Over there. There ain't nobody there either. We're surrounded. Is it the coppers? How should I know? Where are you? Say, fellas, what do you hear? What do you say? Huh? huh? So... You want to know why the Kraut General Bear gave you the equipment and asked for almost nothing in return, do you? He's got our guns, Polly. I can see that, you nincompoop. Your friend General Bear is nothing but a Kraut spy set on the destruction of the United States. His only goal is to see America and the Allies fail to stop the Germans and the Japanese. Can't you see what you're doing? By selling these counterfeit war bonds, you are not only hurting ordinary citizens, but you are hurting your country. Can it, Scrapper? We don't need none of your patriotic babble, do we, Adam? 
I don't know. What the Scarlet Scrapper says kind of makes sense. We can make money some other way. We don't need to hurt our country. Traitor? No, Polly. You're the traitor. You're a traitor to your friend, and more importantly, you're a traitor to your country. Adam, is it? Yes, yeah, Scrapper. Let's shut this down. I'll put in a good word to the cops for you. Say, Scrapper, that would be swell. I can see you learned your lesson. Nothing in life is worth betraying your ideals and values. It's worth something to work hard for what you earn. If it comes easy, it probably isn't worth it at all. Thank you, Scarlet Scrapper. From this day forth, I will follow your example and fight for what is right. If we all do our part, we can win this war. We can do it together. Wait, if you came from back there, then who opened the front door? Scrapper? Where'd he go? Stay behind me, Miss Maple. I heard voices back this way. You there, what are you doing here? I won't lie. The Scarlet Scrapper put his faith in me. I was part of the setup here. We were making fake war bonds until the Scrapper broke up our scam. I have seen the error of my ways. Look, Lieutenant, the Scrapper left his mark on this other one. But not this man here. It must mean he's telling the truth. I don't know. We could have come in just before he was to put his mark on this other fella, but we scared him off. What Miss Maple and this young man say is true. He has turned over a new leaf. He will no longer be a hindrance to our city. He will walk the line and be on the straight and narrow. I, the Scarlet Scrapper, believe it, and so should you. Please, officer. I don't want to do wrong no more. I, I want to help. I want to bring justice to our world. Well, Lieutenant? Well, we could always use some new men on the force. Stop by tomorrow and we'll see what we can do. Thank you, sir. Just this morning I was so lost. I didn't know where I was going. I was a criminal who was just trying to get by, following the leads of others. But now I see the right path. The true path. The Scarlet Scrapper showed me. Who is the man behind that mask? We may never know. And so ends the case of the counterfeiters on the adventures of the Scarlet Scrapper. The Scarlet Scrapper is a copyrighted feature that brings you the radio's most thrilling character in suspense, mystery, and adventure. Be sure to listen when you hear the cry to ride along with the Scarlet Scrapper. All the characters and all the incidents named are fictitious. Any similarities to persons living or dead is purely coincidental.